Hello, I'm Robert Swedberg, offering you a bit of sunshine as I also give you an introduction to Yoga for Performers. As we begin, find your own comfortable way to sit for a few minutes. This can be with the legs crossed or folded, perhaps sitting on a pillow or towel on your yoga mat, or if that's not comfortable, you may wish to sit on the edge of a chair. You want to adjust your position so you can find your sits bones and be able to tilt your pelvis and elongate your spine. Draw the hands across the knees with the palms up. You'll feel how this flattens the shoulder blades against the ribs, which will allow for greater expansion as you breathe. Now breathing only through the nostrils, begin a slow, steady inhale with a sensation of expanding out and down into the pelvis as you complete the inhalation. And now on the exhalation, reverse that process and slowly draw the navel to the spine as you exhale completely. This complete exhalation and hollowing of the abdomen is called Uddiyana Bandha in Sanskrit. Now release this bind as you inhale and draw it in again at the end of the next exhale. Do this a few times with a long, even inhalation and exhalation just to get used to the process. As you do this, I'll explain why this seemingly simple process is the fundamental for yoga practice. Please focus on keeping that long, even breath going as I speak to you. Here's another important element of yogic breathing. It's called ujjayi breathing, or ocean breath, because you're producing the sound of the ocean as you breathe. To find this sensation, imagine the slight resistance in the breathing process, just to slow it down and also to build friction. This produces heat to warm the internal organs and also vibration to clear congestion in the upper respiratory system. The throat stays open and there's no phonation or resistance in the vocal folds themselves. To make sure the throat is open, go through the process of fogging a mirror. Pretend you have one in your hand. Fog it with an open mouth and then unfog it the same way. Now keep the throat as open as it was in that process and with closed mouth take an inhalation and exhalation. as you make the sound of the ocean with your breath. Keep that up. This is one important aspect of Ujjayi breathing. That's an excellent way to start your yoga practice. In fact, once you get used to breathing this way, you'll want to do it continuously through your entire yoga practice. It's the way to warm and protect the body internally as you do the same externally with postures. Now that you have that going with your breath, Begin to expand your breathing process to take an eight count inhale, hold for four counts, and then exhale for 12 counts, engaging Uddiyata Bandha, navel to spine, on the end of the exhale. It goes like this, beginning eight, four, one, hold for four, exhale 12, six, Hold Uddiyata Bandha and release. Repeat the cycle. Continue this cycle with good ocean breath for several minutes. If you need to speed up or slow down the count to suit your capabilities, do so, but keep the ratio the same. Eight on the inhale, hold for four. Twelve on the exhale with the bind, hold for four, and repeat. Focus on a single spot directly ahead of you or close the eyes. And keep straightening the spine and checking the neck and shoulders for any entanglements that may have crept in. You're on your own with this for a while, with this breath, while I tell you a bit more about what we're doing and why. As you continue to breathe this way, you're practicing one of many pranayama techniques. Pranayama in Sanskrit means control, yama, of life force, prana. The ancient yogis believed that rather than being given a certain number of years on earth, each one of us is instead given a certain number of breaths, and that the control of that resource will lead to a longer, more enriched life, not measured in years, but rather supported and guided by the quality of our breaths. 
And breathing is such a simple thing, we often take it for granted. We don't need to pay attention to it. It's the only bodily function that's both voluntary and involuntary. It continues without our need to consciously control it. But we can also slow it down, speed it up, or even stop it. The relationship between the body and mind is thus controlled by breath. Sit tall, keep the spine long, find the sits bones again, keep the focus on the ocean breath over our 8, 4, 12, 4 cycle. The word yoga means yoke or union, and the three elements that are yoked in yoga are body, mind, and spirit. Initially think of spirit as being breath. Indeed it's already associated with that concept in other languages, and we have it too in English in such words as respiration, inspiration, and perspiration, the comings and goings of spirit, of breath, in our bodies. Lengthen the spine again, check for tensions or entanglements. Now add another step to the cycle. When you get to your next bind at the end of the exhale, hold the bind and inhale with this bound being held. This will cause you to expand your chest in all directions to allow the lungs to reach capacity. Do this without raising the shoulders. Now every other inhalation, hold the bind and with this process become aware of both the lower expansion and the upper 360 degree expansion that's possible in the upper body as well. Our practice will help you develop flexibility and capacity in both areas. Keep this variation going as I give you a bit more information. And we need to practice these breathing techniques through pranayama so that when we move on to asana or postures our breath will continue to be the fundamental that supports the rest of the practice. Asana without pranayama is only empty exercise. Pranayama will be the key to finding the real benefits of everything else we do with yoga. That's why it's so healthy for us to get used to this process and to use it as we move on. There'll be several other breathing techniques that we'll learn, but play with this process daily as we begin. You may also want to try it before any stressful moments in your day. Calm the body and the mind by sitting and practicing pranayama if only for a few minutes. Return now to a few moments of normal, balanced breathing. And as you do, think of taking the benefits of this short practice on into the rest of your day. In moments of stress or difficulty, go back to long, controlled breaths. Now we end with the Sanskrit greeting, Namaste, which means, I salute the good in you, in me, and in all those around us. Namaste.